Hi, my name is Jake Gibson and I'm a producer with the Current OC from Ocean City, New Jersey. We're a news magazine show that, like any other broadcast, has deadlines and standards we must adhere to. The only difference is our staff consists of all teens. But today, we're taking the time out to show you how we use our integrated production switcher from Broadcast Picks. Our show starts off like any normal television show. Story ideas are pitched and eventually a rundown is agreed upon. During production, the status of those stories gets updated and producers like myself log into a product called Rundown Creator. Rundown Creator is where we create all of our broadcast scripts. It sends the graphics information to our control room, handles the ordering and timing of our show, and even sends the final approved broadcast script to our teleprompter. But don't just take my word for it, let us show you how we get it done. As a producer, I get to create the order of our show. The show is divided into blocks, with each block representing one element of action. Our rundown is an easy way to provide a quick synopsis of what's going on at any given moment during a show. So in our case, you'll find we have some notes about what content should be seen in the onset monitors, timing, and even who's responsible for working on a particular segment in case there are any questions as we prepare to write the broadcast script. With Rundown Creator, preparing the technical commands for the director is extremely easy. I simply open an item I wish to edit and select the template I wish to apply based on what I want to have happen. For example, if I want to introduce a story on camera one with the over-the-shoulder monitor in the background, I select that template from my list of available script templates and some text appears on my screen. That text contains all of the corresponding director's commands. That way, all I have to do is change the anchor name and begin typing my copy that they are to read. Once the broadcast script is approved, a few copies are left at a few stations such as the anchor's position, technical director, graphics, and mine. Before Rundown Creator, people in my position used to have to write in the corresponding director's commands to match the action going on in that particular block of the show, often looking off the rundown, eating up valuable time. But now with the help of the script templates, that information is all laid out in a separate column so that I can focus on running the show instead of figuring out the matching technical commands. No proofing necessary. Every professional knows when doing an interview, it's essential to ask the person's name and how to spell it. That way it's displayed and pronounced right on the air. As a graphics operator, I do not know the people appearing in the segments, nor do I have the time to type all their names in since I have my own segments to create. Thanks to the integration between Rundown Creator and Rapid CG, all my graphics are in order before broadcasting. Just like the way a director has their commands show up on the script, we have templates for different types of graphics, from over-the-shoulder boxes to lower thirds. This information is entered by photojournalists and segment producers. They enter the type of graphic, the text that appears on the screen, or the image to call up if it's something such as the weather or an over-the-shoulder box. In the case of a lower thirds, they must also enter the time in which the graphic needs to be taken on the air during the segment. This saves me from guessing who everyone is. All of the data is downloaded from the web and brought into Rapid CG with a single click. All in order and even editable if I need to make a quick change such as an anchor's name if someone is out sick at the time of the broadcast. We work very closely with the TD here to ensure we aren't stepping on their toes when using the broadcast picks remote panel, since that's actually taking control of the switcher when we press certain buttons. Our remote panel is set up to show macros, and those macros provide a series of functions. We could auto-play our segments from the meter server as soon as the clips go on air, but because we want our clips timers to count down, we have a separate clock that is triggered at the same time as the clip playback, and that one counts up. That way, our graphics operator, like myself, knows when to take a tag on the air based on a script from Rundown Creator. We have some other macros programmed in the remote panel too. Those reset the clock and combine a rapid CG text data with the animated backgrounds that appear behind them, saving our beginners TDs from getting nervous about having to stack their keys and then remember to get out of them within split seconds. Instead, we control the key priority cutting them on and off and returning to TD to the background mode only. In some cases, we work in a tandem, setting up a shot such as a box shot so the camera operators can adjust and then the TD cuts the entire stack on the air as one group. It's organized chaos, but having these tools like Rundown Creator and an integrated production switcher from Broadcast Picks are what help to set our broadcast apart, giving it that professional look and feel that viewers expect at home. I think sometimes people forget they're watching a student program. 